Welcome in to another edition of the Leadership Library, hosted by CEO and author Rocky Romanella. Rocky is the author of the book, Tighten the Lug Nuts, The Principles of Balanced Leadership, and has over 40 years of business experience as a prominent member of the UPS Supply Chain Solutions team, as well as the CEO of Unitech Global Services. So sit back, grab your notebook, and take a seat, and get ready for this edition of the Leadership Library. Welcome to the Leadership Library. I'm your host, Rocky Romanella. Today, we're going to continue on in our series on the core principles. Today, we're going to talk about the C, clarity. And, you know, I think about clarity and I think about how many meetings that we were at. We spent three or four hours on that, on a, in a meeting and we walked out and we all kind of looked at each other and nobody wanted to be the person who said, what the heck did we just talk about? What is it that we're trying to accomplish here? What are the goals? What are the tasks? What are the things that we're trying? What does good look like when we're done with this process? Or where you go through, you know, a, a you know, PowerPoint presentation, a slide after slide, and they're all great looking and they got great color, great clarity. And some of them even have animation, you know, things are moving across and all well done. But I still, I, I clearly don't understand what it is we're trying to accomplish. So clarity is such an important a core principle in leadership. You you need to make sure that you use specific terms that people clearly understand what it is that we're trying to accomplish and why we're trying to accomplish it. Be direct. It's good to use good examples. I think you all know after all these podcasts that I love analogies, I love examples, I love stories, but there are times that you need to be direct and you need to make sure people clearly understand what it is that we're trying to accomplish. Be specific and be direct. Sometimes you just need to keep it simple. This is what good's going to look like. This is what we're trying to accomplish. I remember sitting at a meeting one time and we were sitting there talking about improvements in these, you know, operating indices that we were, were behind in. And so we were talking about these are the things that we were going to do and, and this is what we were going to get to. And we all thought, wow, that sounds really good. That sounds like it's a great idea. And then I remember asking the question, hey, can I ask a question here real quick? I mean, I know these are all the things that we're trying to do, but did we ever ask a customer, is this what they, is this what good looks like to them? And they're like, well, no, we never asked them, but this is what we think good looks like. And so all of a sudden we all looked at each other like, this isn't clear at all what we're trying to accomplish. We're trying to accomplish something that we think is important. We don't even know if this is important to the customer. We could hit that target number and then high five each other and get a, get a warning letter from the customer that they may change. They may go to another a vendor because we're so far off what they think good looks like. So there has to be clarity in what we're trying to accomplish. And sometimes clarity comes by not only using specific terms, not only being direct, but keeping it simple. Ask the customer what they're looking for. If you're, if you're making a change inside an organization, ask your people, what is it that you're looking for? You know, we put together all these groups of people. We put together all these committees for, you know, improvement inside for our organization, for our people. But we never keep it simple. Let's just go ask our people what, what keeps them up awake at night. What, is, what do they think would be something that would improve the quality of life inside our organization? So keep it simple. Talk to the people that this impacts and affects the most and avoid conflicting messages. Don't say one thing and do another and mean something completely different. So I think you want to make sure that you avoid conflicting messages. So, so the C in our core principle stands for clarity. Clarity is so important because that's really the first step in me understanding what we're trying to accomplish and you having the ability to hold me accountable. Because now I clearly understand what we're trying to accomplish. And you do that by using specific terms, being direct, keeping it simple. Talk to the, pe talk to the individuals, talk to your customers, talk to the people that's going to impact the most, and avoid conflicting messages. If you can do those things, you'll have great clarity inside your organization and great, great uh, clarity in the marketplace for what you're trying to accomplish as an organization. So clarity is the, is the C and the first of the most important of those important core principles. Thanks for uh, being with us today. Thanks for being part of the leadership library family. I hope you have a, a great day and be safe out there. Talk to you all soon. 
Thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Leadership Library, a bi-weekly podcast designed to help you find your leadership aha moment. To access Rocky Romanella for consulting, keynote speaking, or training your business, head to tightenthelugnuts.com. You can also head to tightenthelugnuts.com and click the link for Leadership Library to see this episode or every episode recorded by Rocky Romanella in the Leadership Library. And until next episode, remember, the speed of the leader determines the pace of the path.